Welcome to Finding Holiness, where we delve into timeless Torah wisdom, revealing the sacred in everyday moments. Join us on a journey to elevate your spirituality and discover holiness in every aspect of life. I'm your host, Rabbi David Kadosh, and together, let's embark on a path of spiritual exploration. I hope you enjoy this next episode. All right, we are back. We are back um, learning some laws of Lashon Hara. We are, after a little break, we are back here. Klal Dalid, Halach Atet. Until now, the last few little bit, we've been speaking about, uh, talking about another Jew's misconduct, his past Averot. But now, Hafez Chaim is going to address speaking about another Jew's poor character. The issues regarding talking about someone's bad midot. Let's go back to what we started with. For what we learned at the beginning of this chapter, we can learn. You're not allowed to disparage someone. By mentioning his poor character traits. For example, if Reuven saw that Shimon acted arrogantly, or he saw him become angry about a matter, Shiloka Hogan, which was not called for, or if Shimon displayed other very bad character traits, Reuven is not allowed to relay this to other people. Because it is absolutely derogatory. Even if it's true. He did, Shimon did get really upset. Shimon did act arrogantly. Who knows if he didn't do teshuva already? And his heart is pained on the account of these bad character traits that he possesses. Even if Reuven sees Shimon become habituated with these types of evil flaws, bad traits, and he has no guilt feelings towards the fact that he is stingy or that he is angry all the time. It's forbidden for Reuven to go and speak about, deride him on account of these bad traits. Yeah? Can I speak negatively in Russian her about the Jews who are supporting the Palestinian demonstrations? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, it's, of course, it's, uh, it's against the whole cloud of Israel, like the Jewish people, you know, you can go speak against them. Okay, so why can't I speak about Shimon this way? Um, even though it's true. Number one, it could be that Shimon is... Unaware of the severity of, of being, having bad character traits. We spoke about it uh, when we learned the Rambam over about a year ago or so. You know. We see this clearly with many people. Even amongst those that have a lot of Torah knowledge. They don't regard these bad character traits to be such a serious sin. Even though it is a serious sin. But they don't think of it that way. The truth is that behaving like this is, is evident to anyone who, who contemplates the psukim and the teachings of our sages. Many people just think to be uh, think of it to be inappropriate, but they don't actually look at it as a Torah violation. Maybe Shimon is also thinking like this. If he would actually know how severe these prohibitions are. If he would actually study the Rambam, Hilchot De'ot, and all what he talks about over there. Maybe he would try his best, and he would muster all of his strength not to transgress these Averot. We actually find in Masechet Shabbat, that if a transgressor is unaware of the negative commandment, okay, uh, sorry, he's unaware of the, the, the punishment, but he does know that it's prohibited. Shemesh Gaga, it's still deemed an unintentional sin. Um, so therefore, Adiraba, not only should Reuven not publicize 
what Shimon did and his, and his bad character flaws. On the contrary, if he sees that Shimon is habituated in his anger, he's habituated in his arrogance, okay, and all of these portraits, yes, he should rebuke him directly. Explain to him the severity of what he is doing. Now he's going to fulfill the positive commandment of rebuking your fellow. Maybe Shimon might even confess to all the things that, he, that, that he's done or his bad traits. She'avla who will say that he's doing wrong. However, in, um, in, in absence of this type of rebuke, it could be that Shimon is going to think of his, his conduct as proper. As the Pasuk in Mishleh says, Kol derech ish yashar Every person's conduct is proper in his eyes. Everyone does, everyone walks and, and, and does things and they think that what they're doing is right because no one has told me anything different. So I think that the way that I live life is correct. It's forbidden to classify Shimon as a rasha and go around disparaging him. Rather, you should go and, um, and rebuke him and to see if he would go, ba- go back in the right path and correct himself. Okay, we will stop here. We'll continue tomorrow.